My name is Aaron Blaze. Philip Boutet Jr. Amber Aki Huang. Danusha Sayed. Finian McManus. I am currently the creative director and creative manager at Reddit. Was an ex Disney animator. I worked on The Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King. I am a concept artist. I've worked on Black Panther 1 and 2. You know, one of my first art memories, we always see kids that draw on the walls, right? I never drew under the wall. I used to lay and draw up underneath the dining room table. It's like Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel. I'd lay under there. And so if you flipped our dining room table, it was completely covered in crayon drawings. The other place I remember is my mother putting me in my high chair. We couldn't afford drawing paper, so she would take old brown grocery bags and cut them up and lay them flat on my high chair and give me crayons, and that's where I would draw. One of the first art memories I've had was actually when I was in kindergarten. Back then, it's not that I was like, wow, I'm really amazing at drawing. It's more like, I could draw a bear, and it looked like a bear. And then when I would draw in class, kids would be like, wow, it's a bear, that's so cool. Here's the kicker that my mom still remembers. I started trading drawings for candy in kindergarten because I was not allowed to have candy <laughs> for a very good reason because I was a bit of a gremlin with candy. So I realized if I can't get candy from my parents, I can get it from my classmates. I wouldn't say that I was the kind of kid who was like, yes, one day I want to be an artist. I didn't think that that was something that I could be, especially because in my family, I am the first artist. And so for most of my childhood upbringing, because I was a huge reader, I would read a lot. I made like a bunch of short stories. When I was in middle school, I started making like these cute little comics about me and my family. So that was one of the first steps where I started getting into drawing and became more and more interested. Eventually, I became more interested in animation. And that slowly led me to picture books where I'm able to write but also illustrate and illustration is still another form of storytelling. One of my first art memories had to have been probably I'd say sixth or seventh grade um, and I was working on a show called Lamb Chops Play Along as an actor and it was a moment with my mom which is my mom asked, I always used to just sit and just draw and my mom asked me she said hey you know I just want to ask you a question how come you're not drawing any black characters and it made me actually really think about it and I was drawing what I was used to seeing so that was the first kind of like art memory I have where it was something really it was such a small Small question, but it was a pivotal point in my art career to where I realized even just not knowing I was going to be an artist, just making sure that I showed that really early and kind of drew what I wanted to see as opposed to what I was seeing. Right around when I was nine or ten in Chicago at the time, which is my hometown, one of my favorite things to do with my friends, and this was right when I was getting more serious about art, is I made an actual game for us to play in our spare time, and it was called Invaders of the Cosmos. It was kind of like my first step to becoming a concept artist because I would draw everybody's character, all their spaceships, their planets, and I would kind of like make missions for them to accomplish. That was kind of my way of really getting interested in like story development, but more into the art style of that as well, like trying to find out what I liked as an artist. That was like one of the first, you know, really great memories I have of actually making art in my childhood.